Welcome back brush monkeys. This week we are working on Aravir the Elf Ranger from the Reaper Bones line. And he looks pretty spiff. He looks like his cloak is made up of a lot of different pieces of leather stitched together. So I've gotten, and of course you know being a ranger, I'm going to do them in a lot of greens and browns. <coughs> so I've got a lot of green paints, I've got a lot of brown paints separated out. Um, this this little shoulder pad, he's got a lot more armor on than regular uh, rangers usually do, and I'm kind of torn if I should, if I paint them as leather, they're going to, it's going to be a lot of brown on this guy, but if I do them as steel, it's going to be a little brighter than um, the rangers usually are. And I'm not sure what some of this stuff on his back is. It looks like he's got a little bit of fur right here. And then he's got his bow case and his bow. So, I, uh, I don't know about the fur. See, I, when I plant him out, I plant it out from this angle. Okay, so I didn't get any of the back in there and didn't plant any of the back. So I'm kind of improvising a little bit. Um, I think probably what I'm going to do is paint his... I've, I got the black and steel out for the armor, and I may do that for the breastplate, but I, and the shoulder thing is going to be, the little lion on his shoulder is going to be, well, actually, that looks like part of the wolf pelt, doesn't it? Shit. All right, so I guess that's going to be a wolf. Um, <laughs> make, making this shit up as I go along again, holy God. Um, all right, so I'm going to get some gray out for the wolf pelt there to make it stand out from the green and brown. And uh, I guess I'll paint the rest of his armor as leather, just to keep it to that theme. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pause here and get started on that, and then we'll come back and see how he looks. All right, see you soon. Bye. All right, brush monkeys are back, and I've made a little progress on our guy. The skin is done, the hair is done. The hair is all contrast, I end in yellow. Looks really good. The, uh, all the leather bits have been based with uh, wraith bones, so when I go over them with the snake bite leather, they're going to look really nice. Look really spiff. Um, I'm probably going to do the same with the bow and bow case, right before I paint them with the wild wood. And I've got Sigor Brown for the inside of the wolf pelt and the inside of his cloak. It's all leathers. And I think, um, I think for the most part, I painted the pauldrons and the braces in wraith bone because I think I'm going to paint those as leather but that breastplate and this little um, he's got kind of a loincloth thing hanging down here those are all going to be those are going to be steel because um, the loincloth looks like it's chainmail and the breastplate being steel just makes sense because you know protecting your vital organs I got out uh, castle gray for the wolf pelt, and I think I'll probably give it a slight dry brush of uh, longbeard gray when it's done, just to make it look like kind of a, a snowy wolf kind of thing. I think that'll make a nice contrast to the to all the browns and greens on him having a a wolf pelt that he took in winter. Or uh, maybe it's a trophy he fought a white wolf and won. Yeah. He's coming along pretty nicely. I'm going to let the, uh, con I just finished doing the contrast paint on his hair, so you can see it's still kind of wet. So I'm going to take a break here and let that dry, and then we'll come back and do some more on him. Alright, see you soon. Bye. Alright, brush monkeys, I am back, and I made some more progress on our guy. As you can see, I've got the blades painted with the Misilicinum Gray. I'm not sure why this isn't focusing. Um... I've got his armor painted with the steel. I've got the inside of his cloak and the inside of the fur painted. I've got the outside of the fur based, at least, with the castle gray. This, this is probably the first uh, army painter color that I've come across that I'm really kind of iffy about. Because it looks like it's a nice gray color, but it's actually kind of a greenish gray. So I'm going to let that dry and give it a dry brush of longbeard gray. And then I've kind of based started basing the... Um, bow on his back with the uh, wraith bone, so I can paint it with the wildwood. But the castle gray is still dry, still wet. I painted all his leathers, so the leather's still wet too. 
you know, basing the wood of his arrow shafts and his quiver there. This. All right, so the inside of the cloak I'm going to paint with Sigor Brown, which is kind of a reddish brown. I believe that's Sigor Brown. Might be the Gorgon fur that I want. I want the kind of reddish brown. So, uh, let me check on that. That's more of a dark brown. Okay. So I'm going to be painting the inside of his fur with the Gorgon fur. Excuse me. Because that is the, yes, that is the reddish brown, see? And then, okay, so Gorgon to fur is going to be the inside of his cloak and the fur. And then the uh, wildwood will be his bow, the quiver there, or his uh, arrows, and his bow case. And then the outside edge of the bow case is going to be gold. This whole thing at his waist here. He's got some little trinket on his belt. I don't know if you can see that right there. Then I'm going to paint that ring a little doohickey uh, gold. And then this fur coming off of it will be the Gorgon to fur. So I'm going to go ahead and do up that fur while I'm thinking about it. There we go. The tips of his scabbards are going to be gold. All that kind of fun stuff. So really the next step... Once the um, once the leather dries and once the wildwood dries, is I'm going to paint the wood parts and then the inside lining of the cloak. Then the outside of the cloak, because it's made up of all these different pieces of leather, I'm going to be doing those in different colors of brown to kind of make it look like it's stitched together. And then we'll do the uh, metallics on the on the uh, rest of the figure. All the um, all the golds and dry brushing the both the armor, the little loincloth there, and the blades with Necron compound, and then basing everything, all the golds in Balthazar gold and painting them in Vallejo old gold. But he's coming along pretty nicely. I really like how he's looking. So gonna take a break and come back and make some more progress on him. All right, see you soon. Alright, brush monkeys, I made some more progress on our guy here, and he's looking pretty good. I got the fur all dry brushed, I got the wood painted on his arrow shafts and bow case and his bow there. I got the liner of his cloak painted, I got the liner of the fur painted. So he's coming along pretty nicely, I really like how it's turning out. Um, so I really just got the, the golds left to do, and the cloak. I'm leaving the cloak for last. I'm a little bit nervous about that, but I think it's going to turn out okay. I'm going to give it a wash of Agrax Earthshade um, once I get all the browns painted on there, just to kind of homogenize them all. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the golds next, and then we'll uh, come back and take a look at how he looks, and we'll go from there. All right, see you soon. Bye. Alright, brush monkeys, I have made some more progress on our guy here. I've gotten the golds done, including that little trinket on his belt there. I got his body armor dry brushed and the scale armor dry brushed. And I dry brushed the um, wolf pelt, and then I decided both of them need a little more definition. So I gave them a little wash of Nuln oil. Also, dry brushed the um, blades here. It's got nice dry brush steel. Highlighted all the golds. Look at those. It looks spiffy. Very, very spiffy. So all I got left to do now is that leather cloak that's intimidating me. So I'm going to pause here and go get on that. So I got that in the basing. And he's coming along pretty nicely. I really like how it's turning out. So see you soon. Bye. All right, brush monkeys, I have his cloak painted, and as you can see, it's still kind of wet from the Agrax Earthshade, but I've got all those different little patches, all different kinds of leather. They all look really good. I'm really liking how that came out. I was a little intimidated by it at first, but I really liked it. I originally tried to do the stitching in uh, 
Reaper Uniform Brown. This came out way thin. wasn't And it wasn't showing up on the figure as much. So I took a Shabti Bone and went over all that stitching. And then uh, gave it a wash with the Agrax Earthshade. And that kind of toned down the stitching a little bit. So it doesn't stand out quite as much. But it doesn't completely blend into the leathers too. It just looks like it, like it's stitched with rawhide. But I really like how that came out. I'm going to let that dry and take a break here. And then when we come back, I'll start it on his base. So, yeah. It's coming along. See you soon. Bye. And there is our finished Elf Ranger. Aravir. I think he came out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with how he turned out. So I'm going to call this guy done and uh, wrap up this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next week. Bye. Hey Brush Monkeys, Tom from Flying Monkey Studios here. If you like what you see, click like down below. If you want to be notified when new videos come out, go ahead and click subscribe. It's like over here somewhere, right there. Um, that'll Those will both help with my YouTube numbers and uh, bring me that much closer to monetizing this channel and being able to do what I love to do full time. Uh, if you want to get your hands on some of the miniatures I've painted here, visit our Instagram and Tumblr pages. I post pictures of both of those on a regular basis. I post videos on TikTok on a regular basis. Um, mostly to direct traffic here to the YouTube channel, but you know, there's some other stuff there that's kind of cool. So go check that out. And if you want to show some love for your favorite uh, monkey-based miniature painter, go check out our merch store at storefrontier.com slash flyingmonkeystudios to get our t-shirts, sweatshirts, long sleeve t-shirts, um, can cozies, aprons, face masks, we've got all kinds of stuff there in a bunch of different colors uh, including tie-dye, we've got some tie-dye shirts on there uh, if you want to check that out. So go check that out, go check us out on our other social medias and follow us on Twitter for updates on the channel as well and uh, thanks for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye!